never get it right first time. Ah, yes. Oh. All right, what's up, amigos? So today I wanted to check out the DNI Tango, DNE Tango School, as we say it here in Buenos Aires. Um, I want to check out this school. I've been before and I love it. It's fun. There's a bunch of cool dancers from all over the world. And I think they do a really great job of teaching. It's an awesome place, but um, I, I didn't bring any tango shoes with me just because I was trying to save space in my bag or whatever. Let's get it. Let's do it. So I'm here at Darkos and I'm purchasing my shoes. They're like $63 US, which is like half price than what you would buy them at over at um, in the States. And I feel like the quality is really good and they've got an awesome selection. So if you're in the area, it's, it's a great place to check out. And I'm gonna show you the selection right now. Uh, si 50 is perfecto. Because, okay. yeah, no, no tiene en cambio. No. no so, but, muchas gracias. No, no, eh? muchas gracias. Yeah, sí. <laughs> All right, my luck is finally turning around, I think. <laughs> um, the guy was super cool, and I, I think he gave me a little discount because those shoes only cost me $50 um, US. I paid in US dollars. And that's the one thing that's kind of funny here is that the US dollar, it holds its value a lot better so people want to have US dollars and this whole country is pretty much, the whole country you pretty much want to pay mostly in cash. Um, not a lot of places will accept credit cards um, and then some places will give you a discount if you pay in cash. So make sure if you're coming you bring cash, um, both pesos and US dollars. Reasons why I like D N E. Okay. So, first off, so most of the people that go to D N E are foreigners. It makes it easy to come and learn from people who really understand the dance who can also understand both languages. Now I know a lot of people will say like, oh, but you're not dancing with the, the Argentinos or the people who are from Buenos Aires, um, which is mostly true, but the people who do visit are ones who are most likely uh, very passionate about this dance, who travel from other countries to come to learn this dance. So a lot of the dancing level I have found is very, very high. Now, um, if you're a beginner, they also offer classes which are for beginners. So they have different levels. They have level one, two, three, four, five, six, up to seven. You can do a little self-assessment and you can try out classes. So if you're a beginner, you can try, you know, one through three, one through four, and you can see where that falls. And if a four class is too difficult for you, then maybe you drop down to a three or a two or whatever. Another great thing about DE is that their schedule is super consistent. So uh, I was here last year and the schedule literally has not changed. So you can plan your day around the class. You can take your class and then go about your day, whatever you're doing. So I think that's re another really awesome tip. Community. What I found is that the people who are there at d &E are hungry to learn and they're also hungry to make friends, which is great when you go to Milongas later in the night because when you don't know anyone, it's much more difficult to find and get dances if you're all alone than if you have friends already. So my suggestion is to make your friends, my suggestion is to be open to friends there at DNE, ask them when they're going to go dance, and then you know get them on WhatsApp and then coordinate plans so you can go dance together. And this way you'll have someone to dance with at the Milongas, and then once people can see you on the dance floor and how awesome of a dancer you are, then they'll ask you to dance. Most men know that it's 
it can be kind of difficult if you know the lady that you want to dance with is sitting at a table and she's all by herself surrounded by a bunch of other men and you want to break in and try to get that cup of sale but that may be difficult if you're by yourself but if you're with a group of friends it's a thousand times easier i promise one more thing i want to mention about the community is that they have a cafe located just below the Tango School. So, you know, you can sit there, you can get your food, you can do your work, and at the same time, while you're there, you can converse with your new friends, you can hang out with them, you can chat, you can talk, and the food's actually really good, and there's healthy options as well, which is really great. Private lessons. So, private lessons at DE. Um, one thing that's one thing that they do really well is private lessons. So, I've taken a few last time I was here, and they have this system where first I work with a leader, you know, because I'm a leader, and then he'll give me tips on what I need to work on from a leader's perspective. And then they, then I schedule the second private, and during that second private, I was working with the follow, and I was working out the techniques that the leader had given me. What they do there is that the leader will explain to the follow, hey, Steven needs to work on these few things, can you work on him with these two things? It's like, okay, great. So now the follow is understanding what I need to work on, and then we work on it together, and we talk about it together, and then you continue on. Once you've mastered those things, then you go back to the leader or whoever was teaching your original private, and then you discuss something new to work on. Um, so I just think the level of communication between the instructors is really, really great. That's vital to ho actually helping you improve your dancing. So I really, really, really like that. All right, I'm sure you're sick of me talking about it. So let's go there right now, because it's right there. Right, right there. Right there, okay. All right, so let's see here. Let's go upstairs. Go to room three from across, but I don't want to invade anyone's space. Yoga's going down over there. And down there's the cafe, and then up there is the classroom. So let's go up there. New Shapatos. Nice, just did a musicality class. Yeah, the teachers here are so good and you know, it's, it's musicality is just, just, it makes the dance look so much better than with, uh, without it obviously. So, <laughs> um, I got the energy, I think I'm gonna do one more class, why not, we'll see. Uh, but thanks you guys at d, &D. Killing it. Look at this dumb smile. <laughs> If a smile can sell a place, this is the rating I give for d &E. Look at it, huge. Uh, uh, d and &E is amazing, make sure you check it out. Also make, sure, um, to, also make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you next time. Take care.